Yum, yum. Hi, Matt here from Pixel Fondue. Uh, today I'd like to uh, show you some updates to the uh, character box uh, from PSoft. So just go to their website. Uh, character boxes have been updated to 1.2. Uh, we can go and check the new features here. So just click on that. And here we go. So uh, it's been uh, updated for Moto 13.2. Moto uh, and you can check out some of these videos here, which are really cool. Uh, but I'm going to show you this network rendering plugin. So when you download the character box installs, you get two installs. You get the one uh, normal install that goes into Moto, and you also get an install for your render farm, which is just a standalone uh, non-editable character box install for your render farm. And garagefarm.net, let's go back there. Garagefarm.net has made a character box available on their uh, render farm. So once you go in and you download your web manager, uh, or you, sorry, you make a, your account, then you download your, your uh, install for your software, it in, installs it into Modo, and it comes up here as RenderBeamer. You can also use garagefarm.net with V-Ray, uh, but it's, this is just a normal Modo renderer. And then you need to open your render beamer in here. Just type in render beamer app, and that will open this. I'm just uploading a, a scene now. Uh, and once that is open, you can make sure that denoising is off because denoising is not supported on most render farms, unfortunately. Uh, but hopefully in the future that will change. So you click on Render Beamer and say, beam it up. So once it does some calculations in the background, it comes up with a message here about the global uh, illumination area. I don't need that, so I'll just uh, get rid of that. Okay, so that's nearly done. There we go. And once it's uploaded, it says click here to submit your scene to the web manager. That opens uh, their web manager online. And uh, once it's loaded up, it says uh, scene is being prepared. Just wait for this to, uh, to be prepared. Before, uh, character box needed to be baked out, all the animation needed to be baked out. And you, you can still bake it out here, and you can still, uh, once you bake it out, you can uh, send it to Unity or wherever, or a game engine that you want, uh, so you can still bake it out here. But now you don't need to bake anything out. You can go straight to garagefarm.net. It's still being prepared. What you need, do need, oh, here we go. So I have uh, the frame range of 0 to 24, which is uh, the frame rate range here, which is just like a, a loop of animation. And uh, the resolution is uh, 1920 by 1080. Priorities, these have different price points. Uh, if you're really in a hurry, you can put it on high, but it does cost more. Uh, we'll just do low for now. Uh, and to use the CBOX uh, plugin, you need to open the advanced settings here, and then there's a custom node version. In here, you need to put in zero, uh, three, zero, three, two, and that will uh, tell the garage farm.net that you have character box in your scene. Uh, don't need a render pass list. Uh, we can have the uh, final color, we can put that at 16 bit, and then alpha, we just put in another channel in there for alpha. Uh, and that's it, and we can click on submit, and then it goes off. Uh, you can see the jobs before yours. Uh, 
the six jobs before mine, so it should actually start pretty soon. And uh, there's four jobs on high uh, priority here. So we'll just let that render now. Uh, with the render beam up, you need to go in uh, into the settings and uh, create a directive directory for where you want your cloud renders to be saved. And we can see that it is actually started rendering now. So once they are rendered, you can see your costs estimates here. Uh, and yeah, once it's rendered, started rendering, they will click on, you can click on a download button here and it will start to download the files. And we'll just pause it there. Files, the root nodes being rendered and we can download even more. Uh, total cost is about 58. Uh, there we've still got four frames left. We can jump over into After Effects and then we can Renders, Final Color, and click on that. PNG Sequence, open it up. Let's change the frame rate to 25 there. Drop that into that. I actually have my timeline in my second window there. And so, there we go, done. So character box now is available on garagefarm.net. Enjoy. Yum, yum.